denying that inventions have brought a certain comfort in our lives. Look around you. Pretty much everything you're using is an invention of some sort. And speaking of inventions, the Japanese feature prominently with their brilliant minds in everything. They've given us cameras, QR code, and a host of chairs technologies. Thank God. But still, there have been times when they've taken their innovative nature a bit far. They've created stuff that will have you questioning their sanity. Today, we'll be looking at kind of ridiculous Japanese inventions. But our best pick today has gained worldwide usage. At least it isn't so cringy. Well, that's debatable. Number 10. Square Watermelon You would think they were only for making weird things from scratch. But nope, they had to tamper with the shape of a good old watermelon. Instead of a regular global shape, they now have melons the shape of a cube. Creative? You decide that. Personally, I think yes. These are adorable. The square watermelon has been around for quite some time. It was first nurtured by Tomoyuki Ono, a graphic designer back in 1978. Reason for the invention? Apparently, cutting the regular watermelon was such a hassle. You know, with it rolling around and all. So why not get one that'll just stay put as you work your way into it? Also, the square shape allows the melons to be more compact when stored in a fridge. To achieve this shape, a watermelon is grown in a box, hence assuming the shape of its container as it develops. Cool as it may seem, melons grown this way are merely ornamental. They can't be eaten, since keeping that square shape requires that they're harvested before their due time. The square shape inspired other people to look into these figures. As a result, there are pyramid, calabash, and heart-shaped watermelons. And they also cost top dollar if you wish to own one. How about a thousand bucks for a watermelon? Number nine. Butter grater. You're definitely going to appreciate this. Maybe you're already using it. We get it. Trying to spread the butter that you've just taken out of the fridge can surely be a hell of a task since it's kind of hardened. But if you aren't in a hurry, waiting can work out just fine. But it's not every day that you have time to wait. Thanks to this weird Japanese invention, you no longer need to worry about this. The butter grater produces fine strands of the rather rigid butter stick from your fridge. At a glance, you just need to cut your butter in half, stick in the grater, and turn the base of this device. Scoop the strands on the other end and bless your toast with them. Simple, right? If there's still some butter stick left in the grater, you may as well use the handy device to store it for later when you need it. You can also get this unique invention for under 20 bucks on Amazon. That's if you think it'll make your life a bit easier. Thank God for the script, because I know I need this. Excuse me while I look on Amazon. Number eight. Bubble wrap keychain. As a normal person, you found yourself fiddling around with your fingers. You know, it's just hard to keep your hands idle, even if you've got nothing to do. No wonder the fidget spinner was such a hit. Anyway, away from the spinner, there is the regular bubble wrap that's also irresistible not to pop. The sound of bursting through soft swollen spots brings a certain kind of satisfaction. The problem? You're bound to run out of bubbles sooner or later. So the Japanese came up with a solution to this. A bubble wrap keychain that doesn't run out of the poppy spots. Yours is just to squeeze and listen as that obsessive compulsive personality in you is satisfied by the pop sound. No worries about the bubbles coming up short at some point. The added fun is that there's a special sound after every 100 pops. We bet you might get addicted to this. In that case, you should be careful lest this tiny toy becomes the center of your life. That will defeat its whole purpose of fun. Number seven, chopstick fan. Here's a question for you. What do you do if you're served with hot noodles? Typically, you have at least three options. Dive in right away and start being scalded in the process. I get that it's good, but, but why? Blow into the noodles until they're cold enough for eating. Not bad, but it can be kind of awkward. Or you can just sit tight a few minutes as the heat turns down for a bit. Which option will you go with? If you're Japanese, none of these will make the cut. So what do you do? You mount a fan on the chopstick and chomp away at your noodles. Instead of blowing yourself into dizziness, you let the fan do the cooling for you. And that means you don't have to be scalded or waste any of your precious time waiting. Who has two minutes to waste anyway? But for these conveniences, you'll have to make do with a couple of shortcomings. First, there's the obvious issue of the chopsticks being a bit heavy. 
this might not be a big trade-off itself unless it messes your handling of the chopstick. And just like that, the running fan will make sure your noodles are flying everywhere across the room. Number six, umbrella tie. If you've been caught off guard by sudden rains, then you know how hectic it can be. You know, getting all wet on a day and you've pulled your best look. To avoid that, you can always carry around an umbrella when the wet season comes knocking. But maybe that's too troublesome for Japanese men, or maybe you just forgot. Whatever the reason that necessitated the invention of the umbrella tie must have been unique. Instead of having to carry an umbrella, how about making it part of your outfit? Put it around your neck. We're not sure just how heavy the tie is, but definitely the weight is something you won't ignore when you don it. So how about getting a real umbrella instead? Even if you can bear the weight, you'll have to dress down one item if it does rain. That doesn't sound very good, does it? Again, you're probably better off having a tie and umbrella separately. Number five, the flying umbrella. Still on umbrellas. It seems the Japanese have a special dislike for carrying them. They love freeing their hands for sure. Instead of having to hold your umbrella every time it rains, a company by the name Ashai Power Services made one that hovers over your head as you go to business. Curious? The umbrella is fitted with a drone, so it can pretty much fly around once the drone is set off. And don't worry, you don't have to keep an eye on it as you maneuver the drone. It uses artificial intelligence to be where it should at all times. And that's above your head. It's slated to cost close to $300 once it hits the market. Honestly, we'll be interested in trying this out. Number four, eye drop funnels. You can always count on the Japanese to make things easier. Take eye drops, for instance. How easy can it be to administer them? For most people, it's a series of hit and misses either releasing the drops way off the mark or blinking right before the drop lands in your eye. And that means a good portion of drops end up being wasted. We guess that was the thought process behind the invention of eye drop funnel glasses. At least a couple of people won't have to waste their eye drops so much. As the name implies, the glasses are fitted with funnels in which you put your drops. You then let them ease their way down slowly until they hit your eyes. Clearly, there's still the possibility of blinking. This kind of makes it a bit pointless to have the glasses, but you can just try them out for the fun if you wish. And also, you probably don't want to walk around with funnels protruding from your face. So the deal is only wear these rather goofy spectacles when you need those drops. But be assured, they have little influence on the whole eye drop process. Number three, shoe umbrellas. An invention involving the umbrella again. What is it with umbrellas in Japan? Well, that's something we can't answer. For now, we want to look at shoe umbrellas. While the previous inventions about umbrellas focus on the traditional use of umbrellas, this one's a bit different. Instead of the umbrella covering you, it's made to cover your shoes. Who would have thought that shoes needed to be shielded from drizzles of the hot sun with umbrellas of their own? Indeed, the concept of protecting shoes has always been around. More common ways of doing this include clear bags and shoes for your shoes. Shoes for shoes is a bit straightforward. For clear bags, they have zippers and you can, therefore, cover your shoes with them as you stroll around. The two are a bit reasonable compared to the umbrella concept. In fact, the umbrellas aren't effective at all in keeping your shoes dry. Neither are they stylish in the slightest. Instead of resorting to this, you can as well just dress for the weather, like boots to navigate all the wetness during or after a drizzle. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number two, selfie stick. Well, you can attest that at least one didn't turn out so useless after all. Selfie sticks have been all the rage for the past couple of years, probably fueled by social sites, Instagram to be specific. There's also no denying that a selfie stick allows you to capture yourself at incredible angles that would have been otherwise impossible if you were to rely on your arm. The first true selfie stick was patented by Japanese nationals Nima Yajiro and Yuida Hiroshi on July 23, 1985. While it wasn't a selfie stick at the time, smartphones weren't around and the word selfie was unheard of, this pioneer of the present day selfie stick was called a telescopic extender for supporting a compact camera. It featured a mirror so you could pretty much have a glimpse of how you look as you snap a photo. 
The idea was later improved on by Wayne Fromm in 2005, with his invention by the name the QuickPod. Everything picked up later, when smartphones became the order of the day. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Onion Chopping Glasses If you ever have to cut onions, then you know that one thing is certain. You're gonna shed tears at some point. The initial explanation for this involves the enzyme analazi, but a closer look proved the enzyme wasn't the problem. According to studies from Japan, the tears you shed when you cut onions are caused by lacrimatory factor synthase. It's released into the air once you cut an onion open. This enzyme then proceeds to convert amino acid sulfides in the onion to sulfuric acid, which is quite unstable. The sulfuric acid then changes into synropanethyl S oxide that simulates the lacrimal glands in the eyes to release tears. This is something most have had to put up with since it isn't possible to curb entirely. Well, that is, until these eyeglasses hit the scene. They feature two tiny fans mounted on each side of the glasses to blow away any of the onion chemicals that cause watery eyes.